Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about courgettes or zucchini. However, before we start, please say hello in the comments below if you're watching live and it's hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay. So over to you, Ronald. So, um, you've got a treat today because I'm, at the, as usual, um, at the end of the first presentation, I'll be giving a recipe to uh, enjoy the courgette even more than you normally do, right? Okay, so why courgettes? Um, they come by two names. Courgette, C-O-U-R-G-E-T-T-E-S, is a French version, but the English have adopted it, called courgette. But in Australia, we call it zucchini, Z-U-C-C-H-I-N-I. -C -C I think in the States, the United States is also called zucchini. Now, why is a courgette such a wonderful vegetable? It's like a, it looks like a cucumber. It's superbly, very dark green, but inside is more like a marrow, okay? Now, why is it so good for you? Number one, number one, it is full of chlorophyll. That dark green color you see on the outer skin, that is chlorophyll, which is very, very good for your liver and your kidneys, okay? The second thing it's good for, it's very high it's a very high fiber and high water content. And you've heard me talk about fiber in numerous times, and I keep harping on that you must go on and about 38 grams of fiber per day. Now, in one courgette, about six inches long, you get about eight grams of fiber, which is a great start. You need 38 grams per day, one whole courgette, six inches long, will be about um, eight grams of fiber, right? And that'll be what I call insoluble fiber. Now, the good thing about it is that the fiber in there is so, it, it's a mixture of insoluble and soluble. Now, because what it does, it actually rubs the internal uh, cavity of your colon, your large colon or intestines, and that gets rid of all the waste that's there. You've got a red meat in there, you've got a pork in there, and it will help you flush it out, right? In addition to that, it's very rich in potassium, which is good for cramping, anti-cramping. So if you, have, if you have cramps at night time in bed or any other time, potassium is a very big factor. Also, potassium is very good for your heart. Right? As you know, a lot of people suffer from heart problems in some form or another, strokes, whatever. If you eat a courgette on a regular basis, like every day, um, it's easy, it's very easy to eat, and it, you'll get the potassium. You'll also get, if it's planted in organic condition, you'll get selenium, you get zinc, you'll get some, some vitamin C complex, and you will also get a lot of uh, what are called inulin, which is like a unique type of fiber, okay? Now, recipe-wise, um, the best way to do it is to, to have a steamer. So you, you have boiling water on the bottom base of your steamer, and then above it, you'll have your steamer itself with the holes in it. Now, what you do first, you, you, you bring the water to a boil, right? And when it's boiling, actually boiling, you see the steaming coming through. You then put your slices about, you slice them about maybe a centimeter or less along the length of it, you slam and you put it in there. The you just take the, the edges off, that's all. Cut both edges off and then you put the rest in. So keep the skin on as keep well. Keep the skin on. You don't peel the skin. You must keep the skin. The skin got a high level of fiber. Now, once you, after a few minutes, not too long, you'll see the courgette will become quite soft, right? And at that point in time, you put that into a mixing pot, like a Pyrex pot. You slice, you've sliced it up already. Now, what you put on it is one cucumber, right? Like a Lebanese cucumber. You grate that as well, cucumber. Uh, so you'll have the your slices of uh, the, courgette. the courgette, you'll have the slices of uh, cucumber. Again with the skin on Again well. with the skin on. One tomato sliced thin, right? One tomato sliced thin. It has a lovely flavour. Ginger, garlic, sel de garande and extra virgin olive oil and a dash of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. That is a really tasty, healthy uh, mixture. So in, overall you've got the courgette, the cucumber, the tomato, ginger, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, 
Bragg's apple cider vinegar. You can, probably, silly say, you can probably also add an onion or shallot. Yes, that's the other thing. You can you can slice up an onion very finely or shallot, and, or you can put some spring onion. It has a lovely little like onion flavour to the whole thing, right? Now that can be a meal in itself, right? Now if you want to get a bit more flavour, get some tahini, which is made in Israel, tahini, and then you put about a tablespoon of that on top and you mix it all up, and that gives you a lovely nutty flavour. Ta tahini is a sesame It's a um, sesame seed, seed extract, that's right. They use, they use donkeys with a big stone, and they put the sesame seed between the two big stones, and they grind the stone, they grind with a stone, and the tahini comes out of the of the of the of the, of the there's there's, there's uh, rivulets inside. As it grinds the stone, the stone grind of that, the sesame seed comes out with, and becomes tahini, which is sesame the extra. And that's one of the greatest proteins you can get. So I enjoy that. Look forward to getting your feedback. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. We'd also like to let you know that yes. we've got our ebook out. A guide which is on the best ways to treat diabetes yes i'm sure you may have diabetes or you may know someone who has diabetes so or borderline yeah or borderline so yeah. get get yourself this uh, free guide itself it, it's got lots of information there very comprehensive and on the link which i'm going to share as well uh, there will be a link to our two courses our two new diabetes courses which you can also check out as well mm -hmm. so we look forward to hearing from you, your feedback as how you've got on with the with the courgette's recipe. Yeah. Okay, till next time, take care and have a great week. Bye-bye. Thank you.